Before we start the video, I just want to say that I will be giving away a copy of Dead or Dishonored. The only thing you need to be is a subscriber and leave a comment below. Hello everyone, my name is Gigi Ewan and welcome to this video. Today we will be going for the Miklas Horty and the Habsburg Princess achievement. So this is the easiest way I found to complete this achievement, but if you have another way, please tell me in the comments below because this is a pain in the ass to complete. And the reason why is because you have to pick a focus and then you have to pray to fucking Narnia that the AI doesn't do something stupid. So on that note, let's get started. Our nation is gonna be hungry. Our objective is to restore the Austria-Hungarian nation and we have to own all of these provinces. No, because I don't want to explain one by one where they are. I stole this map of the Hearts of Iron 4 wiki. So basically you can see we are orange and everything in red is what we need to get to get this achievement. Let's start with a setup. First you want to move your army to the Australian border. For research this is what you need and it's a bit more than usual and a bit different. This time no marines but airborne infantry. And mountain divisions. And of course if we want to land paratroopers we'll need fighters as well. And that's basically it for research. I thought we needed a lot more, but I guess not. Oops. Construction, you can basically do whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. For production, this is what I do at the beginning of the game. I basically place 3 into infantry equipment, 3 into artillery, and if you have any spare ones, because you build any more military factories, for example, you just want to put them into infantry equipment. Moving on to the fun part of this game, Z focuses, yaoul. Um, our first focus is gonna be, I can't actually read that, hold on, give me a second. It's balanced budget, it's gonna give us 120 political power. So at this point you know what to do, slam your head into the plus key and press the unpause button. If you slam your head into the keyboard hard enough, at some point you will be able to pick a second focus and that focus will be... Strengthen the monarchist, this is not gonna give us anything important. Once you have 150 political power, you want to pick the fascist advisor Gillian Gombos. I have no idea what a Gombos is. Focus number 3, elect the king, it's gonna give us some national unity, yay! Focus number 4 is gonna be invite the Habsburg prince, this is gonna make some Habsburg guy king of our nation. Our next focus will be demand a referendum, upon completing this Austria will get a referendum and we will get an event. And this is exactly what we want, we want them to refuse the referendum and we want to pick the option, we shall see how united they really are. Declare war on Austria straight away. This will remove the Treaty of Tryon and you will be able to switch over to limited conscription. So at this point you want to start training divisions, I recommend you train 3 at a time. Austria should be defeated relatively easily, the only thing you need to do is take their capital Vienna. After the war is done, we will pick our next focus and that's gonna be restoration of Austria-Hungary. Upon completing this, our nation will actually become Austria-Hungary. With the annexation of Austria, we have gained a couple of extra military factories, so this is basically what I did. Now I have 5 into infantry equipment and 5 into artillery. Next one, protect Czechoslovakia. This is once again gonna give us an event. So you could get 3 events here. One is Bohemia Returns to the Crown in which you annex Bohemia. This is the one I got in my recording campaign. You can also get Bohemia as a puppet, which is also okay. And then Bohemia can refuse. At that point you have to just restart. I'm sorry for that guys. Now as soon as you are fascist and you have Bohemia under your control, you wanna justify against Italy. You also wanna join the Axis straight away. So the last focus after this, you can just pick whatever you want. It's gonna be war games. It's gonna give you 25 army experience. As the game goes on, you will gain more military factories. So this is kind of what I develop my production into. I add fighters, some naval bombers, and of course, transport planes. And for construction, if you don't really feel confident against Italy, you can also build some forts at the border. It's also a good idea to switch over to the communist advisor as soon as you're in the access. As soon as the justification against Italy is done, line up everything you got at the Italian border and declare war. It's also crucial that you call in Germany into this war. So now that we're at war with Italy, you might be like, uh, how do we defeat Italy? Well, it's very easy. You just stand there and let them attack you. They will take massive amounts of casualties and, you know, you will be fine. 
This is a template I used to defend against Italy, it's just infantry with two artillery pieces and support artillery, it's nothing special. So after a while the Italians will run out of manpower and out of equipment, so that's your moment, that's your time, just start pushing. Now the only thing I can say to you is it's very important that you at least encircle a part of the Italian army and destroy it. And once you have broken through, it's very important that you rush to Palermo, otherwise you might have the same problem that I had a couple of times, where you just can't cross the sea. Now some footage was lost here, so I cannot really show you guys this, but it's actually very simple. Once you have finished off Italy and annexed it, you want to move up to the German border and leave the Axis, and start justifying on them. But most likely Germany will declare war on you. After that you just need to defeat Germany with the help of all the allies, it should be really easy. So as soon as the war with Germany is done you want to grab as much of East Germany as you can. No. Here you can see something very interesting, Poland still exists, which means the Soviet Union is going to war with Poland and of course Poland is in the Allies, which means the Soviet Union and the Allies are at war. Since you won't be communist just yet most likely, you just want to slam your head into the plus key and just speed up the game max speed, in the meantime prepare for the invasion of France and Britain. Once your nation has flipped to communist, just join the common turn and join the war. So since France won't see this coming, they will be mostly unprepared and you can just walk into Paris, basically capitulating them instantly. After you have pushed the allies of the main continent of Europe, it's time to prepare for the invasion of Britain. You do this by just paratrooping one division into a British port, because most of their army is destroyed anyway in the main battle of Europe. So do that and just capitulate Britain. In the peace deal just take whatever you still need, which is Lorraine, Palestine and Lebanon and there you go, achievement complete. So guys thank you for watching, what else do you want to see on the channel, any tips or tricks please let me know in the comments below and how did you complete this achievement? Once again. Thank you for watching and bye bye.